No button cat is really well, goes away, goes or seeker. Or two are can is aware now, you are no two are can. I know one your bone more upon the Biafra. Was a sack of Bacano one in there. Can you make Cheney looking and care bread and gossip? Then you could run your own question and more Polanyi could do a walk or hands or gas away and gone to the Gumatopola. Over top, Lanyi could do a dry saying, no button can, Nega Gosan in those of preacher. You were Gossi and the Gonyam, no button keta. So say Jama Canyon at the Gonyam Machinek and Lanky, but Nay, no Bonane Bundi Prime. If one year to a on your mamma chinek and a car can send you no bar honor, who put up with Supusu, a fancy away by honor. The terrorist and the bandits watch now in Alani. The kiss we're buying an uncle, no gahuru, Niga, Mimi, Land, the Nina Bundi Mako Mogi, where Bany Amri. Only one year in a chinek and Nanke, Benny Bany, where we're home again, the Anina, no to no to hold up Lankanina. When you're Faganaka. And you wear it and no longer. When it's done, no leak or nobody hop or a hammer, and then in a bundle we kept on the hand, no more person can wear Babu only one in a chinek and a gaboran yobo. Even we cannot undo it here. A gaboran yobo, tea in a good chinek and a gaboran yobo, even we can on your mum. No to a time is so mahin and your journey in a bundle or under front of Janja with Nalan saw him. Only one in a chinek and Nanki went to get to a bundle get what happened. Not to know. The guy may have better. I am not going to be able No, to our home has to wear a motor mark and he and we come out and come out and wine. Oh, to our car, who might see where Motan will come out and wine. He was where Motan will come out and wine. What where Motan will come out and wine and like a bread and gossip. Kahansi where Machias and on the also, only one that you like and like a believer, support our Machias on the day to our. Did you know what you have on this line and up on Nankabre? Oh, boys, this young guy can you naga? Oh, no, Blana Pring and Ikanana Jesus and Nagabama Nankadin song. Ige Kuni were Lord on the Gog, only one Machinek and Nanki go, but it was to Busuke Galani, he did keep with Sukan in Angua. And you were now young and I say, Zebu Bedengozi. Oh, Bugumagi Bunya, he were Eastern Security Network, Oboga Mother Dend. They in all busy and you send you with Zendi Dend. It was no guy here, and Ben Nobla Jalatina, when you want to chinek and Nanki, when I get Wendy Chagachal and sorry. It was yet to a way make a hungry Pusosika, as a bad and cousin. He had a Yagahako, you want to chinek and he got Puchika Higan and the Mosi, who ever went to the one, Bundinche, Bundi volunteer. And you were who so seek any so windy and near bonding a child and sorry for Piafra, only one Nachinek and Nanki, where Nansen and the Mosi Gabaho Crickly, where Tibet to the Habal. Over after my two job and came dinner game at Tahana on Nanki, but even a Maribon Canyon. They got off Taranian Guaga is everywhere. They got off Taranian Guaga, only one Nanda Flanaganja would put our land so and you saw her on Nanka and you were up on a highway to Jawa. Facebook. Because Facebook proceeded to tell me, or in fact, they actually said to me that I will not be able to broadcast on my Facebook page. That is. why they have not certified it and i'm starting this very evening by reminding ourselves what our eternal leader Dean Chukwemeka Odimeko Juku went through during his time somebody captured it very succinctly and the person said that Ojuku fought two wars i will call it three because Ojuku was fighting neo-colonialism british imperialist interest in black Africa. Ujuku was also fighting the stupidity of a black man because those who rose up against him were also black people 
who we are suffering and they are still suffering till this very day. Ojuku was also fighting Igbo Ifulefus everywhere. That was exactly what happened. And this fight we are facing now is no different. That is why our people must listen and understand what I have to say this evening very, very carefully. Because this very fight is not going to become any easier. As we get to the finishing line, it will become far more difficult. But God Almighty in heaven, Chukukikabiam, has done something for us. As the Janjaweed are coming down to the south to engage us, which I'm sure they're going to do, their lands in the north will be occupied by a bandit that they themselves created. So this evening, I want you to understand that there is a method in our madness. We are very, very strategic in terms of our approach, not just to the disintegration of the damnable zoological republic, but its disembowelment. I did promise you many years ago that by the time we are done with Nigeria, the name Nigeria will no longer exist. That is where we are heading to. And for us to be able to accomplish that, we need to recreate the scenario of Yemen, the scenario of Syria, the scenario of Somalia in the northern part of the damnable zoological republic. And there is only one way we are going to achieve that. ESN will give it to us. How? Because in their eternal foolishness and stupidity, it is called hubris, the Janjaweed army will come to the south to engage us. They will. They will come. It is not a question of if, but when. But this time around, we are waiting for them in our bushes and in our forests. We are not going to fight this war in our townships. We are going to fight it inside our bushes and in our forests. They will come there and we are going to kill them. All of them. And as they are coming into our bushes and in our forests, they will leave their backside open. Terrorists from all across the Sahel will flood into Arewa lands and occupy it. God will destroy them. I just want all of you to watch and see what is going to happen to the zoo. What they call banditry and insurgency is only the beginning. Just an appetizer. The real dish is coming. The main course is coming. At the end of this process, all of you will worship God the way that nobody ever did in the world before. The Afra is coming not through the efforts of any mortal, but through the grace of God and God only and not man. God will not share his glory with any mortal. By the time that Biafra gets here to us, we will all be very thankful that out of the billions upon billions of the people that occupy this very earth, Chukukikabiyama chose Biafra to showcase his mighty works. You must remember this always. The fight we are engaged in is not of a carnal nature. It is very, very spiritual. That is why the same Ifule fools that fought Ujuku, the same idiots that is scattered all over the zoo that fought Ujuku's restructuring, they gave birth to, to their children. And today, those idiots, some of them, of course, followed by Fulani Janjaweed, are fighting us. Because Biafra is the kingdom of heaven upon the face of the earth. The beginning of the genuine liberation of every black person on the face of this very earth. Therefore, Lucifer doesn't want Biafra to come. Agents of darkness in the zoo and beyond do not want Biafra to come. Neo-colonialists in British Foreign and Commonwealth Office do not want Biafra to come. Because they know what Biafra portends.
They know that with Biafra, a Fulani, ordinary Fulani boy can will be able to go to school and be free. They know with the coming of Biafra that entire black Africa will be liberated from decades or should I say centuries of unsolvable hardship and poverty. They understand that very well. That's why they are fighting. When you see the likes of idiots like Mike and Omahi, they are doing the job of the devil. They are working for Lucifer for darkness. The same thing that Obama Biaseka did against Ujuku, that is what Wike and Omahi are doing of them. Your so called governors. Have they been able to defend you against Fulani Janja Widdism? When Nimbo was attacked, Uzuwani was attacked by Fulani headsmen. All these Fulifus, what did they do? They did nothing. When people were being murdered and raped and slaughtered in a dust state, what did the governor then do of a do? Nothing. Even right now, Delta State is under siege. What have they done? Nothing. Therefore, I find it very, very distressing that human beings that claim they are educated or have a semblance of exposure to enlightenment and reason will rise up one morning to side the governors. I find it very, very shocking. These are the things that you must understand and bear in mind. That the same difficulties Ujuku encountered against Igbo people especially, and some Ifulefus from, from Ijoland, from Ibibio. Are we all not suffering now? Who is having fun, I'm asking you? Can said we were that sold out to Biafra? Is he not dead? Was he not killed by a full man? By a ginger weed? Who are the people that own the oil wells we have today in a jaw land? In Okoni land? In Ibibio? In Anang? In Ethic land? I'm asking them. The idiots that refer to themselves as South South, I want to ask you a simple question. How many oil wells do you have in your land? That was what Ojuku was fighting for. So you can have access to your own resources, but out of your stupidity, your idiocy and foolishness, you sided Abacha, you sided Muhammad, you sided your passengers of this world. Today, all the billionaires you have, not one single Biafran is among them, not one single Easterner. The only thing that you idiots specialize in is fighting those who are fighting for your freedom. That is how foolish some of you are. You are foolish beyond redemption. After fighting Ojuku from 67 to 70, how is your life today, I ask you? How is your life? It's a very simple question. Ojuku went to Aburi to go and get restructuring for all of you to make your lives better. The same way that their propaganda machine led by the BBC managed to, because we are black people. Just like today, we are celebrating New Year's Day, a Gregorian New Year's Day. Because one pope somewhere decided that he wants to be having his Christmas every winter. That is all. He changed the calendar of the world, turned it upside down. Today we are celebrating Gregorian New Year. When you go to Africa and see how people are celebrating the New Year, nobody's asking any question. Is this the actual beginning of the year? Nobody's asking. That was how they brainwashed all of you, washed away your brains and your common sense. You can no longer reason. That is why after Arabs must have sold us as commodities, the Europeans came, took us into the Americas as slaves, sold our children as slaves. Today we are still being killed in some parts of America, isn't it? A boy was killed in Ireland just the other day. After they finished now, the Chinese are coming. Every race in the world will always enter into Africa because they understand how foolish Africans are. They know we are going to be fighting each other and not them. They understand. What I call the genetic defects and deficiency in the brain of a black man, they understand it very well. The same thing is happening to us. Omahi could not defend you when the Fulanese came. None of your so-called governors could defend you when the Fulanese came. The same people are today saying they're against 
Eastern Security Network, and some of you are foolish enough to be listening to them. But when Uzo Wani was attacked in Enugu, people were slaughtered, including a girl that came back home from Canada. None of you did anything. You did nothing. Do you see how black people reason? That is the reason why God gave me this revelation many years ago. That the greatest obstacle to the progress of a black man is in his brain. That a black man cannot reason. A black man cannot reason. Fulanese, they come to your land, they attack you, they rape your mothers, they abduct your daughters. What are you going to do about it? It's a very simple question. For very many years, we kept quiet. To see if you can do anything about it. But you did nothing. All we did was to lament. Oh, there's been this kidnapping here. Fulani has destroyed crops here. They have killed us here. They have sent us here. Every year, every week, we kept on lamenting. With no concrete action. Only lamentation. 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 Now that those chosen by God to fight for his land has risen up to set up Eastern Security Network. Some of the idiots, I wouldn't even say it is them. Some of the idiots, some of the fools, some of the people fathered by Janja Weed, they are busy telling you the governors are against it. This is uh, not against it. It's in um, the kind of uh, a militia. The Tamoteku is there. Don't tell it was set up by law. There is a law guiding it. Which law is that? Show me in the constitution of the zoo. And when you point out Miet Yala vigilante to them, they shut their mouth. What they have now done is to go to DSS every day. DSS will manufacture one group. That doesn't exist. That does not exist. Because they understand the mind of a black monkey in Africa. That they don't listen. One, they keep telling you, this evil group is against the uh, ESM. That uh, Eastern group is against the uh, Namdekan. If they keep repeating the same lie and that they, they know you are black people, one day it will click into your mind. And you start to question ESM. Then that time they will bring what is left of their army. We know how many soldiers they have in the zoo and we know that we have more men on the arms than them in the zoo we know why we lost the war we are not going to lose this very war i'm telling you the truth. before god and man we can't lose it heaven is my witness we can never lose it they are going to die in our land they are going to die in their land and their homes will be taken over by the monster that they bred there is something some of you do not understand in this way. Sometimes when I go through Zoom, I, I, in fact, I say to myself, God, in my next life, I can never come to Africa. I don't want to meet the idiots who can know reason very well. Let me tell you what is going to happen in the North, for some of you who do not know. It has started happening already. Do you know that um, uh, the mother of um, Buratai died? Buratai could not go to his house. He's the army general, commanding all the armies of the zoo. He couldn't go for his mother's burial. Are you aware of that? In Brown? He couldn't go. Why do you think so? Do you know that Isa Fintua died? He was not buried in his village. He was buried in Abuja. Are you aware that Abat Yari died? Abat Yari was not buried in his hometown, in you know, one of the Brown villages. He was buried, so they claim in Abuja. Do you know that uh, Simon died? is dead do you know that everybody who has risen up to take over do you know that the entire full and cabal that i was telling you about before that they're all dead are you aware of that buhari is dead abakiari is dead isa funtua is dead Simon da is dead are you aware of that all of you are you aware of that no you don't know this war is being weighed in the spiritual realm for some of you who don't understand the reason why they have not announced the death of Mama and Daura is because they said, if they announce it now, I will look for the next person to curse. Go and ask them in Abuja, that's what they're saying. Anybody who rises up to become the head of the cabal, you will die. You have an eternal curse placed on you. And Mama and Daura is dead, of course he's dead. The entire cabal is dead, if you don't know, let me tell you. They are just playing games, playing mind games with all of you. 
No, we're going to unravel them this year. You know that what saved them uh, last year was coronavirus and the restriction of travel all over the world and all the attending problems that came with it. I'm telling you the truth. But this year, they can't escape it. Something is going to happen to the zoo that any ear that hears it will vibrate forever and ever. God will destroy Nigeria completely and totally. I want to let Britain understand this. I want them to do all they can to save their zoo that they created for the habitation of idiots who cannot visit in Africa, especially Nigerians. I need them to understand this very carefully. Do all you can to save your zoo. You cannot save it. Watch and see what is going to happen. The Jangaweed are coming from all over the Sahel with their camel bringing in every manner of sophisticated weaponry. Not to come and fight their friends, of course not. But to come and finish all these vultures. They are in a very serious mess, I assure you. I gave them three examples, Yemen, Somalia, and Syria. That is what is going to obtain in the northern part of the zoo. They can't escape it. So some of you disturbing yourself or distressing yourselves as to what we are going through this very day, you don't have to worry. Because we know where we're going. And so far, so good. That I can assure you. Today, is our eternal leader not vindicated? Today, Fran is telling you we're now ready for restructuring. The same restructuring that Ojibu went to Abuja and negotiated, and Britain said no. Fulani said no to the structuring. Now they want to restructure back to regions. The same thing that Ojibu cried and contained for. That some people, some evil people, rose against Ojibu. Is it not the same thing they're asking for today? The same Niawodo, talking about restructuring, Niawodo's father was a, was a, a traitor, a saboteur of the highest order. He fought against Ojibu. The same way Niawodo is fighting against me today. After the father's foolishness and treachery, today the son is talking about restructuring. He has restructured back to the leader. The same thing Ojuku went for, and your father said no to it. These are the people that are your leaders. Do you now understand what we are fighting? We must make it very, very clear that we are in a struggle for liberation. There is no democracy in a revolution. We are in a perpetual state of revolution. There is no we are a quasi-military organization. Not in terms of our outlook or pursuit of what we believe in, but in terms of how we are structured. It is called command and control. That is why we are the highest, the largest mass movement in the world. When Biafra comes, you can do all the democracy in your life that you want. There are a lot of things that we are doing that we cannot tell you. When we tell you sometimes, oh, why are you telling us? You don't have to tell us. But when we don't tell you, you also complain. Oh, why haven't you told us? So we cannot win. If you take them up, they say, you know, Sumabeke is, is the dead body of a white uh, uh, court mind those days. White colonialists. What is he? This state commissioner. Take him up. He'll say, no, 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 no. Bring him down. He'll say, no, 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 no. If we don't tell you what we are doing, you say we are not doing anything. And when we tell you, you say, oh, we are talking too much, we are feeling everything. The same thing that is happening to our people today. Do you know how much money we have spent releasing those that we came in to kill in the north? Do you know how much we have spent releasing them, making sure we pay their bail bond to free them from the clutches of full and janja weed, murderers and killers? Do you know how much we spend on a daily basis? No, you don't know. But somebody will come and ask you, oh, uh, but um, uh, where is your money going? They have seen the widows we are taking care of. They have seen those we have we are putting through school. They know those who have flown abroad for medical treatment. That is how evil some people can be sometimes. And that is why it is only those of us at the top that know everything. You can't know everything because some of you don't know how to manage information. You have no idea how to manage information. We, Biafrans, we have a lot of enemies. 
And that is why you need to school yourself. You need to be hardened in terms of your devotion to this very noble cause. Some of you don't know what we encounter on a daily basis. Do you know that I've been to ICC before to give evidence? I never wanted to say it. Do you know I have been to ICC, International Criminal Court, to give evidence before? They said we shouldn't announce it. I kept quiet all these years. Are you aware of that? I went to ICC myself to go and give evidence. Are you aware of that? And some people came with me and they were there with me. Those who can vouch. I went to ICC to go and give evidence about Operation Python Dance and the effort of the zoo to exterminate our people. I, uh, I'm just telling you for the first time. But if we don't say these things, it's as if we are not, nothing is happening. You do some of you, we are like a dog in a pond. When you see the serenity of the movement of a dog or a swan in a lake or a pond, you think their glide through the surface of the water is just effortless. But uh, just right underneath the surface, what's repelling them is their feet. They are working very hard to move forward. But you can never see it. When, when, when you're observing it from afar, you, you will think that the, a, a, a dog or a swan is just gliding through the surface of the water. You don't know that there's a lot of hard work going on underneath. These are the things that people do not appreciate nor understand. Without me telling you today, will you know? Go and ask them, they know those I took to ICC with me. to go and give evidence. And that is why... <laughs> Those idiots, they, they, I feel sorry for them. The likes of everybody who, who has a hand in the death of Biafrans, I feel sorry for you because we will never forgive nor, forgive nor forget what you have done. Never, ever, ever. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. We Biafrans, we have a lot of enemies understand this very well. I just want to give you one or two examples so that you have that, that, that can guide you in terms of your reasoning, and your decision making. You know that Google is against us, are you aware of that? All of you well know that uh, Facebook is against us. Even Twitter is against us, are you aware of that? Some of you don't understand what, that is why sometimes I say there has to be a compulsory lesson in the history of Biafra for everybody who aspires to be a principal officer of state. You need to understand the demons you are fighting. Do you know that only a few months ago, if you go to Google and type in IPOB, you will see us, you will see everything there about IPOB fighting for Biafra and all the rest of it. Are you aware of that? I ask you to go this evening, now, or morning, afternoon, depending on where you are, go and type in IPOB, IPOB on Google search engine. They'll start putting you in New York Stock Exchange. It's already happening only two months ago. They bust them over. What they want to do is to is to airbrush our presence away from the minds of people. If you go and you Google them, the term, you will see all the fake fake news from DSS. That's what you will see. This evil group says no to ESN. That evil group, they don't exist. Go and Google the name of one of the people they, they claim is leading one of these groups. They don't exist. That is the news that you find under my name. When you do Google search, you go to Biafra the same. Our own IPOB, indigenous people of Biafra. Just type before you type in IPOB, it's only our news. Now you go there, it's about stock exchange in America. That is how they work. Because you people think we are fighting for land. Who is for land? These are, these are stark illiterates. Animals are better than them. They can't listen very well. These are stark illiterates. They are, are they educated? You can see what the mess they have done of the economy, the security, everything in the zoo is down the drain because of them. An exclusive full on a government. You see how wretchedly incompetent they are. Do you think they can stop Biafra? Of course not. <laughs> Those stopping Biafra is Britain now. You know that? And their allies because they know what Biafra is all about. But some of you don't know this. That is why sometimes you lose focus. Let me tell you what happened during the colonial era in Africa. The white man came to Africa with only 5,000 men, 5,000 white people. They came. They were called the West Africa Frontier Force. They were established in the Gold Coast, then Ghana. 
only 5,000 British soldiers came, but for Britain to conquer the rest of the Anglophone Africa, they needed black people to do it for them. And that's what we're facing today, till this, till this very morning. You know what they did? They went to Ghana, they hired Ghanaian men, black men, to help them to come from Badagri to conquer all their fellow blacks for them. <laughs> You know, so if you if you act, if you seriously think about the brain and nature of a black man, believe you me, you drink poison tonight and you will die. Colonialism in Africa became possible because a few white people came down to West Africa, convinced other black people to help a white man to go and conquer their fellow black people, and they happily did it. In return for their children going to Eton and Oxford or Cambridge, they now came back as your so-called pioneer nationalists. But none of you ever knew that they came to do the bidding of the white master. That is one thing that a black man cannot understand nor unravel. And that is the beginning and end of the problem of black people all over the world. Look at how Britain is using full and illiterates to subjugate all of you. You cannot see it because you're daft. They gave you your name, Nigeria, didn't they? They gave you all the festivals in your calendars that you celebrate. Nobody ever got up one day to say, if God created all men equal, how come a black man cannot go to Europe and give them all these holidays? Nobody, absolutely nobody, is doing that or willing to do that. They can never do it. They can never ever do it. These are the things that our people need to appreciate. That is why when they recruit them, look at how full and ordinary from Nigeria. Kato here has recruited somebody who is an engineer in Omahe. Richard claims he went to school. He's a lawyer. But those controlling Wicca are Kato Head as in Nigeria. People who cannot even write their own, spell their own names. Are you aware of that? The same thing that the white man did to us when they came, the white man trained the Fulanese to be doing to all of you. And you're there looking like idiots. They came to you, most of and they picked a hoopus or a wretched fool and put him in office in Douglas House. Now he has given a part of our law to be at Yala. And all of you are just there looking, looking. Oh, what are you going to do? We need to unite. We need to do now that IPOB is doing something tangible, instead of you to, 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 instead of the idiocy you're suffering from to leave you. Where is the law? Backing ESM. Where is the law? Backing full and agent, full and bandits, raping our mothers. When a girl was butchered in Uli, in Iyala, Butchered and cut into pieces. What did you do? Oh, Biano, what did you do? I'm asking you. Oh, and and this, what did you do? When people are in the water, even yesterday, killing people, maiming and killing, pan death, what did you do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now that we have done something, some of you idiots. Anyway, I pray that the full and come. I, I want them to come. Let's be honest. I want them to come. Remember what I told you many years ago? They will kill us. We will kill them in the end. Biafra will come. Everything I tell you comes to pass. They will know that danger with they will come. They are foolish. By nature, they are very hopeless. They will come. This time around, the people will turn Biafra land into a burial ground for terrorists. They will understand how serious we are. We have raised it. It's no longer coming down until freedom is declared. They understand that very well. They understand that very well. There is need for us to remain focused. Going into this 2021, focused. Don't allow yourselves to become distracted. That was what happened to us during the war. Had we fought that war up until August or September of 1970, we would have won. That would have been victory. Nixon would have stepped in. That would have been victory. But we gave up as we always do. Man, this UG, after a little, you know, we don't, mental toughness is not in us. After a little thing, we just give up. Look at Trump, how Trump is fighting. It is not, oh, why don't you concede now? Oh, why don't you give up now? Hey, give up now. Uh, let's leave it for God. Let God do it. Trump said no. 
because in a first world like the United States of America, any hint of electoral fraud ought to be investigated. These are white people. You think they're going to follow them? You think they are black Africans? No. I'm not saying that Biden did not win. I'm not saying that. But there are evidence of electoral fraud, and it is being invested. Look at all of you in Africa. Look at all of you. Digging after digging. Have you done anything? No. In America, legislators are debating. How many people are on the electoral roll? How many people actually voted? Can you mark their signatures? That is how human beings reason. In our industries, let's leave it now for God. Hey, it's 2023. Let's leave it now. In this UG, black people, we must be focused. A lot of things are happening. And this evening, I must make you understand this. We are not folding our arms and we're not going to allow them to overrun us. They have overrun parts of Benue. That is their game plan. That is one thing Omar he doesn't know. Wiki doesn't know. Obiano, all these idiotic governors that they, or maybe they know. The allure of um, being a vice president to a Janjawi is what is propelling them. Do you know that Benue State they want to install a Sadwana in Otrupo? You know, on Otrupo, Otrupo. They want to put Sadwana there. Now, let me say this thing to the so-called middle belt. Of course, Otrupo is, um, is part and parcel of um, Biafra, but let's, let me, for, 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 for the benefit of this very analysis, let's call them middle belt. Do you remember that you fought against Ojupu? Do you remember that the same propaganda they're using now to get some of you a fools, they, they deployed it in the middle belt. They told them Ujuku is here to take over their land, to dominate them, to make their life a misery. They foolishly fought against Biafra. But today, the man that told you that Ojuku is your problem is planning to install a Sadwana in Otrupo. What does that mean? Because some of you do not know history. You have no knowledge of history. You know, some of you go through zoo primary school, zoo secondary school, through zoo university, you know nothing. Your brains are empty. As one man, I think it was a professor that said that a graduate in Nigeria is more dangerous than an illiterate. Because half education is dangerous. You know the price of everything and the value of nothing. Look at your history books. The same game they played in Gobe, in Sokoto, is happening now at your doorstep in Otrupo. Sadwana in Otrupo. This is your one Nigeria for you. Anybody who, do you see why I said, anybody who believes in Nigeria, I swear to God Almighty in heaven, I should not swear, but I am life on air. I don't regard you as a human being. Any, once you get up and you say, I am a Nigerian, heaven knows you are lower, before my sight, you are lower than an animal. You are one Nigeria. Ujuku is your problem. Igbo is your problem. Namdekan is your problem. Biafra is your problem. You have come to Trubo. First, they divide you. That's what they do. They divide you and they conquer you piecemeal by piecemeal, territory after territory. Have you seen it? They have come now to Trubo. The same place they couldn't penetrate for nearly 5,000 years. They have now come. How did they succeed? Because they told you that all through, oh, you're different. You're not part of, uh, of them. You're part of us. North. North. The one North. Evil man is your problem. Now, Fulani is your problem, isn't it? Sadwana of Otrupo. That land is gone. And unless they fight, oh, it's gone oh, forever and ever. I'm telling you the truth. They have to join us and fight. You must fight. You have to fight. If you don't fight, your land is gone. Because what is going to happen is um, when they have the election, Fulani man is an INEC chairman. You know, they're going to remove Obaseki very soon. Obaseki will be out from a doorstep. Um, they kick him out. Uh, certificate forgery is gone. Do you know what they will do? They will impose their people on you. Who voted for Hopus Adema? Some people today in Imosat are saying, our governor, our governor. I, I keep asking myself, are you sure you created these people? Are they human beings? Who voted for him? Nobody. The same way it was an experiment. As you have accepted Hopus Adema, so will you accept whoever they impose as Ohanese, President General? 
and your lives are over. And then what they will do now is to be fighting IPOB. And some of you very gullibly and very foolishly, without the benefit of common sense, reasoning, no understanding, will join them. Because you are foolish. The only thing that you need to ask these people is this. The only question you need to ask them is this. Who killed the girl at Uli? Who killed her? Who killed the girl at Uli and cut her body into pieces? All these people now issuing statement after statement. Of, of course, I know they're fake. I, I'm, I'm saying now that DSS is issuing fake statement after fake statement. Who issued a statement when that lady was murdered? She was raped and cut into pieces. An Igbo woman. How many Igbo groups will come up then to speak? All these idiots now writing their longer pistols for... Or nation newspaper for sign reports writing garbage. How many of you wrote your head raped by uncircumcised full and ginger weed and her body cut into pieces in our land and abomination? You said nothing. These are the people now that some of you idiots are listening to. When they went to Ozo One, go and Google it, Ozo One, you know, that if I knew one, he was calling Buhari, then Buhari refused to take his call. Go and check it until the phone is finished massacring our people. There. What did you do? Nothing. And you think that under my watch, I'm going to allow the Fulani Janjawi to overrun our land? We'll all die. I told you that I'm coming, that I'll bring hell with me. You think I've forgotten? Anything I tell them, I'm going to do it. And I will come. And I will bring hell with me. Because nobody is going to stop us. Nobody is going to stop us. Everywhere there is kidnapping, everywhere you go to bandits are killing, just Google it in, this in the news. Every blessed day, people are dying. People are being kidnapped. Every blessed day. And some idiots are getting up and talking about one Nigeria. Do you see how foolish some idiots are? You are talking about one when in Otrubo there is a Sadwana in Otrubo. All of us must understand this that um, Eastern Safety Network has come to stay, it's not going anywhere. Everybody in the international community is aware of our sensitization efforts. And now the world understands that the main perpetrators of violent attacks against our people, against everybody, including even some Fulani peasants, are extremists from the north, spearheaded by the Fulani Caliphate. Before the coming of IPOB, the Fulani, through the aid of British government and their, and their, and their Zoom media that they control, have always lied about the reality of events in the zoo. Everything is uh, from a header clash, from a header clash. <laughs> These are people taking over the land of, of the indigenous populations. This left the international community confused for very many years until we came and spent a whole lot of money on our consultants in Washington. It is not hidden, the Department of Justice in America has the details of our contract and somebody would ask up and say oh but where are they spending all their money as they ask him what they do with that the idiots some fools some fools who are aware of what of our financial commitments all over the world that was when i knew that some people are satanic some people are, are i don't know where they, from where they came from to even join ipob in the first place Department of Justice in America has our contract, which the zoo, Karaba Sheikh, has been talking about for very many years. Is there how much we pay them on a monthly basis? Thanks to China and the COG, some people are evil by nature. If it's not, it's not going to deter us, we'll continue to move. Are you aware that in Enugu, a foreign man shot dead a traditional ruler wearing a police uniform? This is the one Nigeria they want to build. This is one Nigeria. Go and tell the family of that traditional ruler about one Nigeria. A policeman, because he's a felon. Can you imagine an evil man, constable or inspector, going to the north and killing an MA? What do you think will happen? They will kill every evil person in that state. 
with Enenuku because you people, uh, you allow them, this insults you're receiving is because of, you know, your envy, I know, poor Nibu. You know, Nibu man is very envious by nature. Very envious to the point of destruction. Now, look at, um, look at the Igwe they have killed, the answer they killed Enenuku. What is going to happen? Nothing. Because you have women, not I wouldn't say I wouldn't insult women, please forgive me. You have wretched lily livered cowards as your political leaders. I ask you this question do you think an able policeman can go to the north and go to storm a village and kill an Emma? <laughs> is that possible? No. But it's happening in your land. And you open your dirty, your dirty mouth to say you're a Nigerian. God punish you. Punish you now and punish you forever. And they want Nigeria mad people everywhere. Bandits from Mali are trying to enter Nigeria. Through all young, mad in Who hasn't heard that? So you want me to remain in Biafra land and allow people from, from Mali to come to my village and build a settlement in my village from Mali? Let me say what is going to happen this year. We will start with the saboteurs in our land. I'm telling you the truth. Anytime, if start anyone that, that that collaborates with DSS to issue a statement, bring the person's name and the address. I'm saying it live on air. When it will start happening in our land, I will be in The Hague, very close to ICC. They don't need to write any letter to me. Once they say, come, I'll just walk in. Anybody from today onwards, anytime you read a statement, we are against ESN, we are against Eastern Security Network, get us the name of that person and the village he comes from and his address. And you hear what will happen to the idiot. You hear what happened to them. Have you not seen or read what is going on here? People from Mali. From Mali, are you telling me that I should allow Omahi is telling me that I should allow people from Mali? A under the guise of Fulani to come in his sea and build a settlement. Like, what type of God made you people, for goodness sake? Are you, are you people human beings at all? You idiots! Who, who, oh, she made me. It is here, it is not from Radio Biafra, it is not from any Biafra friendly publication. This is from Premium Times, a Fulani newspaper publication. Bandits, terrorists from Mali, they come to EEC and they say, and build a settlement. And because Omahi wants to be vice president to uh, uh, whoever in 2023, because of that, I should allow a terrorist all the way from Mali to come and build a settlement in Ebony State. Is that what you're saying to me? Is that what you're No, let's be very clear. Is that what you're saying to me? Then tell me why Thunder will not fire you. Just explain to me why God will not destroy you and your lineage. You hate yourself that much? Do you see the idiotic governors that you have? These are the idiots, the wretched fools that you have. That is why Biafra is going to... We don't care how long it takes. We don't care. We are going to keep fighting until Biafra is restored. Or we all die. If Biafra doesn't come, we all perish. And I will lead it from the front. And when it happens, I will tell you I'm here. Leading this very battle from the front. If you're nursing this idea of your stupid one Nigeria, may thunder consume you. May thunder that has not craft yet consume, lightning and thunder consume you. You have seen that the zoo is a cesspit of evil. You don't, you don't go to school. You don't have electricity, you don't have running water, you allow them to defy you all the time, all the time. I don't know why you people are not mentally tough. Look at the MSARS, they brought in religion, they brought in tribe, and all of you fell apart. You some stupid journalists in Lagos, idiotic Yoruba journalists in Lagos, telling them that he was at the same properties. And all of you just capitulated and fell apart. That means you are not ready for a revolution. You don't want your lives to change. Because in a revolution, there is no other side consideration apart from the goal and the mission in front, which is freedom. Yeah, 
Muslim is a Christian against Muslims. Uh, Jews against the Christians. He, he said he wants to bring Judaism. Oh, we are Christians. So, oh, we are we are Seventh Adventist Church. He is from Assemblies of God Church. You allow yourselves to be divided. That means you are not ready to make that move towards freedom. That was how end Sars fell apart last year. Just like that. You allow them to divide you. Every time, every time, the same thing they are trying to do in Biafra land, the same thing they have done for years. Oh, you put it in You put it in And from an Anyama, Anyama is not Hebrew. You keep allowing yourselves to be divided. Whereas those dividing you are bringing their brothers from Mali. Are you see, do you know how foolish you are? Do you see how stupid and idiotic you are? I'm not here. I'm from Niger Delta. Look at me, a lawyer for that matter. But the person telling him to say he is not here is bringing their own people from Senegal, from Gambia, from Mali to come and build settlement in in uh, in uh, in uh, LM. Oh, in, sorry, in LM. Are you aware of that? This, these are people that claim the way. You know when uh, and, and, uh, uh, a Biafra claim they, they went to school and a lawyer, you know the person is a complete animal, a complete fool. The person telling you to say your name is Niger Delta, I'm Niger, I'm South South. He is busy bringing United Fulani in Niger Republic, in Cameroon, in Chad, in Mali. Why can't your brain ever tell you something? Because we are very foolish. Very, very foolish. As I said before, this is a New Year's message. What we are saying this year is that we are going to intensify our efforts to flush out for they will try us so don't think they will not come they will come of course they will try us forget all that uh, razzmatazz uh, flying uh, a dead beat helicopter flying all over the uh, rubbish we are waiting for them to commit their men on the ground you know it is very easy for them the mistake, not the mistake I made, uh, what we should have done when I left prison in 2017 is to go into a bush. You know, they specialize in killing civilians and burning down houses. That's what they, uh, they do. Once you're in the bush, they can't come in. If they can, you're fighting Boko Haram in a savannah, in a grassland, you cannot defeat them. And you want to come into a rainforest to come. It took Britain 40 years. And the Sabutua, it took Britain 40 years, they are caught mad at Sabutuas to penetrate our land. 40 years. Imagine, imagine Buratai. Look at Buratai. He looks smelly. He merely looking at him, he looks dirty. And you know he smells. By just merely, he looks physically, his physical appearance, you will know he's a very filthy idiot. Look at Buratai. Something that took Britain 40 years, our fathers when uh, there was no internet when people could not go and learn how to build an explosive within five minutes it took them 40 years to move from calabar to a trooper 40 years then let brother come let me make one thing very clear full and they are very foolish they will come expansionism is in their blood they want to take other people's territory that is how they are wired genetically they're telling me that Fulani can come from Mali to come and take our land, kill my sister, kill my, rape my mother, kill my sister, and this settlement in the name of one Nigeria. <laughs> it won't happen, no. It won't happen. And all these idiots, uh, uh, pre because of presidencies, I want to go and chop. Oba eh? Sanjo was president for eight years. Uh, Yoruba is having fun. All of you idiots with your stupid, idiotic Igbo presidency. For eight years, you are clamoring for presidency because you want to go and eat your own. It's your turn. Maybe one of these idiotic criminals can get in there. He's you he start eating. He start traveling and living large. You are dreaming. Seriously, all of you are dreaming. I, anyway, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen until it happens. But I know that the idiots are coming. And when they come, it is a lesson of their lives. And no sabo will go free. Don't think your sabo, oh, all these idiots, born on that with your bridge, writing rubbish from Lagos. You did tribalized idiot. You can, we will find you in that place where you are. Check up over there. We will find you where you are. This year will be a year of cleansing our land, of sabo. Cleansing. That 
something that will happen in 2033, let it happen now. That ICC, let us all go there. Because if, you, if I go to ICC, uh, they will ask me to bring people uh, uh, to testify, either for or against me. Isn't it? Why well, then we call witnesses then from the zoo? Sabo is a problem in our land and it's about time that they're dealt with. I'm saying it live so the whole world can hear. Sabo in our land must be dealt with. Henceforth. Because if uh, Jang Jaweed, if they make a phone call and there is nobody to pick their call, I'm sure uh, which I have here, they'll start listening very well. This nonsensical garbage called Nigeria must come to an end. We are going to fight for our freedom. We will keep fighting for our freedom until that freedom is attained. Until we get it. There is no two ways about it. We are not going to stop. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. Until Jaffa is restored. Then our work is done. I want us to be very, very vigilant. They will do everything. You know, they're changing their SIM card, although this nonsense is because of Biafra agitation. They think they can cage everybody. And what pains me is that most of the journalists in Nigeria, I don't know from which planet they came from, some of them, hardened agents of oppression, serving Fulani, or without doing that serving Fulani, they think they're having fun, writing rubbish. Not think they're serving Fulani. The journalists in the zoo called Nigeria must sit up. Right, objectively, and the truth. If because you want Tinubu to become president uh, so you can benefit, uh, because of that, uh, you don't want to do the war to be independent, because of that, you don't want Biafra to be independent. Let me, as somebody quite rightly said a while back, all of them, from Ibi, from Fulan, Ibi, um, um, from Biafra, Ibi, from Odudua, all their political class, they are in it because of what they can gain. Not because they love you, it's because of their turn. It's like a cozy old boys network. They know what they're doing. Ordinary people are suffering. Their own children are going to school abroad, having fun, the best medical care. And you are an idiot with 2,000 naira data supporting them. <laughs> Had French people behaved the way that you're behaving in the zoo called Nigeria, do you think that France would be developed? France, they had the uh, I keep telling you this all the time. This UG, I don't know why they don't understand it. You can never go forward without a revolution. France had it. Britain, you see, in other kingdom, the revolution was there, led by Oliver Cromwell. In America, George Washington led a revolution. In Russia, there was a revolution. In China, Chairman Mao led a revolution. Everywhere in the world that people have moved forward, there was a revolution. But in your own case, hey, hey, yes, sir, don't, don't even try it. There is no law. Which law established full and banditry? Somebody will come and be raping your wife and you're quoting the law. You're quoting the law. Then anyway, some of you take your mothers and go and do ritual. So you don't have any soul anymore. You live in Abuja, you live in Lagos. You people are, are you, are, you have no soul. You're not human. You are not human anymore. After all, if you can use your mother to do ritual, what, who, who won't you sell out? Who will you not sell out? What is a flip who's in Lagos and in Abuja? Talking about Bishop Blessed Day. You think you can bring down IPOB? <laughs> oh dear. How foolish some people are. With that, we have come to the end of our program this very evening. As I said before, there are many things we are doing we cannot, we are not at liberty to announce live on air. A lot of things are happening. And we're moving forward. But you know that any great army in this world marches on its stomach. For us to sustain ESN, they have to eat. We have to clothe them. Every blessed day, they have to look very neat. They are in our bushes fighting to protect our heritage and our homeland. And we must support them. We must. All the way from Cross River to Edo State, we must support them. To defend our land. Or else, <laughs> they are coming over from Mali. Don't say they didn't warn you. Sabwana of Otrubo, maybe very soon I'll be Sabwana of Obini City, uh, or Sabwana of Ishikiri, or Sabwana of uh, Yelegoa. Then you know you've arrived. You see, we can. He's a dead man walking. Thank you very much for listening. Until next time. <laughs>
when uh, Facebook, of course, it uh, doesn't matter what Facebook does. This year is going to be very remarkable. It's going to be an open hunting season for saboteurs. This year, because Biafra must come. Because Chukukikabiyama said so. Wherever you are around the world, you must remain resolute, determined, and very firm in your belief that Biafra is your right. Biafra existed before Britain was created by Norman conquerors. And it shall exist again. And with it, freedom for all in black Africa and beyond. Until next time, from me, from here, it is good evening.